A police officer was shot twice by a known assailant in the village of Bilogorodka near Kiev on December 25. An alarm went off in a private house in the village of Bilogorodka in the Kiev region. The police did not provide any information on the owner of the house. Recently, the crime rate has increased dramatically in Ukraine and, in particular, in Kiev. Same time, anti-government partisans in Kharkov and Odessa attacks infrastructure and pro-Kiev activists. DPR leader Alexander Zakharchenko insists that the Kiev-led party of war is using the ceasefire to regroup forces. In addition, Kiev has closed several Ukrainian airports, which is further proof that is plotting to disrupt the Minsk talks. Preparations are underway to disrupt the talks and resume hostilities, which is clear from the fact that the airports have been shut, the DPR leader said. Russia's revised military doctrine that was signed into law by President Vladimir Putin on Friday for the first time ever lists the presence of foreign private military companies in the immediate vicinity of Russian borders as a threat to national security. The emergence of the hotbeds of inter-ethnic and or inter-religious tensions, the operations of militarized international radical groupings and foreign private military companies in the areas adjoining the borders of the Russian Federation and its allies, as well as the presence of territory territorial contradictions and growth of separatism extremism in separate regions of the world, says the text of the doctrine published at the Kremlin's official website. The previous version of the doctrine that was adopted in 2010 did not mention them in any way. The China foreign exchange trade system has announced that since December 29, China, Russia, Malaysia and New Zealand will start the usage of national currencies in mutual transactions. Beijing hopes to make the yuan an alternative to the US dollar in global trade. We remember the Russian Central Bank and the People's Bank of China reached a three-year agreement on currency swaps worth 150 billion yuan, or over 24 billion dollars, in October. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.